What if I told you that you can hook up an M1 to any iMac using just a USB cable? That's exactly what I discovered, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. All right, so uh, we've got the MacBook Air M1, and we are going to uh, beam it over here to my 2013 27-inch iMac. Uh, so in order to do this, all you gotta do is come in here, make sure they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, right? They're both hooked up. And when you come into displays, you just come over here, click your other display should show up. So all the computers on the network should show up. I click this one and it's going to automatically uh, mirror your screen. So we want to stop mirroring, right? That will change your settings over here to an extended display. So you can either mirror it or extend it. In this case, we want it as a secondary monitor, so we're extending it. And then I always like to change the arrangement. Uh, the issue with AirPlay is it limits the screen resolution sizes to very low resolutions. Uh, and it works great, you know, if you have a good network connection. However, uh, and I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a considerable amount of lag, so as you move your mouse, things get jumpy. See right there was a good one. Uh, things get jumpy, not as responsive as they are on the native display. So all you gotta do is take your USB cable, hook it in here. And one thing to keep in mind, not all uh, USB cables are created equal. Some are just for charging and some have the high speed capabilities. So make sure you're getting a good uh, cable used for transferring data. All right, so I got everything hooked up here. Uh, you just gotta plug in your USB cable and disconnect the AirPlay. And then when you come back in here and reconnect the AirPlay. Uh, so now it's the same method but we are met with more resolutions. And when we click this, uh, it still defaults to our 1920 by 1080, uh, but the lag is significantly decreased on the new display. So you got higher resolution. We're not getting as many artifacts going on. Uh, you notice with the native Air dis AirPlay display that you get a lot of artifacting. So the artifacting is gone. And if we, uh, Make sure you come in here and arrange the monitors again, uh, because I noticed there's quite a few bugs with this. Uh, so there's some trade-offs. You get better resolution, you get more resolution options. Uh, however, um, there's a few bugs you gotta deal with. So uh, when you switch it to the highest resolution, that, that's actually not native to this 27 inch iMac, so that shouldn't even be showing up. Uh, but every time you switch the resolutions, it wigs out the arrangement and just changes it to whatever. Um, and when you go ahead and, and move the arrangement and click done, it flips, it flips the uh, window wherever it likes to go. So again, there's a few bugs. Uh, I don't think they're gonna work them out, uh, but this is, you know, again, AirPlay working on an older iMac that it was never designed for. Uh, so this is actually the native resolution to this iMac, but it's coming in at low resolution. So I don't know if it's a problem with the data cable. Um, and again, if we arrange it, okay, so it did leave, leave it in an okay position, but and I don't know if you can see it on your end, but this is the native resolution and it's coming in real, real fuzzy. Uh, honestly, for my purposes, I think the 1920 by 1080 is actually usable at, at this resolution on this screen. Uh, the higher resolution, it could be usable, but uh, text is really hard to read. Uh, so for my purposes, I think the 1920 by 1080 is gonna work fine, given that we have a lot less lag and less artifacting that we had when we were hooking up uh, the native AirPlay. Uh, I would be interested to find out if anyone out there has a Retina display, if they have upgraded to Ventura with OpenCore Legacy Patcher to enable AirPlay, if they can get this working and what resolutions 
uh, pop up on their end because I don't think these are even the retina resolutions. Let me know. Let me know, guys, in the chat if uh, this works for the retina displays and what resolutions you guys are pulling. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks, guys.